friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So today I have the day off work because it's a holiday weekend and I'm really excited because today I'm going to be tackling a project that I have been procrastinating on for the longest time. This is a pattern that I drafted a while back and I'm hoping to have it available on my website in the near future, but I've been needing to test sew it for so long. So I'm finally going to tackle it today. It's a skirt design and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a few minutes, but that will be the thing I'm focusing on today. I have a rehearsal a little bit later this evening. So I'm planning to try and cut the project out before then and then sew it tonight and tomorrow. So I'm excited to show you how it will come together. I have some fabric that I just got for this project. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But really quickly, I wanted to show you guys my jewelry for today because today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. They're one of my favorite jewelry brands. So let me show you these pieces really quickly. I have been wearing Ana Luisa jewelry for several years now and I love their pieces. I wear them pretty much every day of my life. So today I have a new pair of earrings on. These are the Paris hoops in silver, which I absolutely love. I actually have the gold pair, which are some of my most worn earrings that I've ever had. I wear these all the time, but I've been getting more into silver recently. So when I saw that they brought these out in silver, I was so excited and really wanted to try them. Now, I know a few of you have left comments in the past saying that you wish they had more silver options available. And recently they have brought out a lot of their designs in silver. So definitely check them out if you're interested. I also have these paired with my favorite little pearl studs from Ana Luisa. And then another piece that they sent over recently is this sweet little pearl bracelet. I'm loving this one so much. I feel like it's the perfect thing to pair with an earring stack like this with the pearl earring. So I'm really enjoying all of these pieces. I have a few more that I'll show you a little bit later in the video, but I absolutely love Ana Luisa jewelry. So if you're interested in shopping their pieces, you can use my code laurenj20 for 20% off your order and go ahead and follow my link down in the description box if you'd like to shop their pieces. I absolutely love them and I hope you will as well. Thank you so much to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. And now let me show you the fabric for this project. So the pattern that I am working on right now is a circle skirt design. And if you've been following me for a while, this is actually the same design I used to sell as an actual skirt in my Etsy shop years ago. And I've been wanting to come out with the pattern for it for a while. So this is the fabric that I am going to be using to test sew it today. This is a Rifle Paper Company fabric. Shocker, I know. I think this one is so perfect for spring with the daisies on it. And I love the blue color. This is one of their linen and cotton canvases, which is what I used to make these skirts out of when I sold them on Etsy. So I know I really like this weight of fabric for this project. I wanted to pick a fabric that I thought would showcase the pattern really well, but also something that I think I will enjoy wearing for spring. So this is what I've gone for. But before I get started with the sewing, I wanted to have a quick chat about perfectionism, especially when it comes to posting your work online, because I first drafted this pattern in all of the sizes that I have it in back in 2021. That's when I finalized the files on my computer. And I have just let it sit there ever since because I get so stressed out about the idea of posting something online and it not being perfect, which really holds me back a lot of times because I will not post a video or not post something that I've been working on because I just think of all of the little details that are wrong about it or I won't even get started on a project sometimes because I get so perfectionistic about the way that I want it to come across. So I'm trying to tackle that this year. So one of my goals is definitely to get this pattern published and to get a few more out as well for you guys. So I really hope that it will come together well and that you will enjoy it. But my goal is just to work on it and get it out there. So today I'm really excited. I've got the pattern printed and taped together Together. So I will be cutting my skirt out and sewing it. And then along the way, I'm also going to take photos of each step of the process so that I can take that into my computer and make the digital illustrations for the pattern, which I'll show you a little bit of that as well, because I think it's really fun. So if you're interested to see that, I will include some of that in this video. I have the pattern guide or booklet all written. I just need to add in the illustrations. So once I have tested it and done the illustrations, I just need to test it in a couple of other sizes and send it out for testing to some other sewists. But it's really getting close to being done now that I have picked it back up and decided to work on it again. So I hope it will be out soon. One other thing that I find with myself when it comes to posting things online is I really don't like to share them until they are done. But I thought it would be really interesting to try and take you guys along just in this process as it's happening rather than waiting until I have the pattern out and ready to go. So I hope that that just makes it more interesting to be in real time because I don't really know when exactly this will be published, but I wanted to go ahead and share it with you since this is what I'm working on now. So with all of that out of the way, let's get the skirt cut out and I'm really excited to see how it comes together. Okay, 
so everything is cut out. I ran into a small hiccup because I realized I accidentally ordered a slightly lesser quantity of fabric than I needed. So I ended up having to cut the back piece as two pieces that I will then just piece together, but it should work um, fine just for testing out the project. I'm really excited to see how this comes together. So I'm gonna run to rehearsal and then when I get back, we can start sewing. Hey friends, so it's the next day now. I actually wasn't able to get around to starting on the skirt last night because my rehearsal went quite late, but I'm going to go ahead and start on the construction now. I've had a really nice Saturday morning. My sister and I went and got brunch and then we ran a few errands together. I have on my current favorite pair of shorts, which I think I got a clip of to show you guys. I got these from Hill House and they are so comfy and cute. And then I have on another set of Ana Luisa earrings today. These are this little moon and star set, which I think are so cute. And then I have it paired with these pearl dangly hoops, which just make me very happy. So I'm going to go ahead and start constructing the skirt and I will show you how it progresses. So I finished the first step, which is to attach the pockets. So I have my patch pockets on the front here. And I also went ahead and pieced together the back piece since I had to adjust that for the amount of fabric I had. But it's funny because I've made this pattern so many times back when I used to make it for the Etsy shop that I feel like I'm on such a roll with it. So it goes together really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and sew the side seam next. I just sewed on the waistband and I'm very happy because it's looking like everything is lining up just as it should. So that means that it's drafted correctly. My only thing that I'm thinking about right now is that this pocket might be a little bit small and I might want to adjust the pocket piece to be a little bit larger on the final pattern, but I will finish up sewing the skirt and try it on and assess better. I'm just thinking right now, from the way I have it, it looks like once the seam allowance is added on the side, this is gonna be quite a small opening. So I might make it just a little bit wider. So we'll see how that turns out. Ah! 
me shaking but not still Just a lesson that I learned And so it goes, tables turn And you're on your own friends it's a couple of days later now but I have finished this skirt and I am just about to try it on but I thought I'd show it to you on the hanger really quickly so here is what the skirt looks like so you can see the pockets here I've added the zipper I put a little hook and eye here as well and it sewed up really easily so that's a good thing so I'm going to go ahead and try it on and let's see how it looks Okay, so here is a look at the finished skirt. I'm really happy with it. I love the fit of it, and I really like this length as well for the pattern. I ended up drafting it to be a little bit longer than the one I used to make on Etsy, and I think it's just more fun to wear, but I didn't love how much I had to charge for the uh, skirt when I made it a little bit longer because that affects the amount of fabric. So anyway, I uh, really like it at this length. Now the one adjustment I think I will need to make, I don't know if you guys can see this here in the mirror but the pockets are just a little bit narrow here at the opening so I think I want to add just a little bit more width and adjust this curve so that it's a little bit easier to put your hands in your pockets but yeah I'm really happy with how it's coming along I'm gonna go take some photos of this really quickly Okay, I just did a quick little outfit swap. This is what I'm going to wear to work this afternoon. And this is the ballet wrap sweater from Hill House, which I think is going to be one of my favorite ways to wear this skirt because I just really like this pairing together. And then I also added this little blue and gold pair of Ana Luisa earrings, which I think are so dainty and cute. So I am going to head to work and then I will be back later this evening to show you a little bit of the pattern illustration process. So I have my laptop, I've made some coffee, I'm ready to get started doing some pattern illustration. So this is one of my favorite parts of developing my sewing patterns to be available online. I think it's really fun to try and put together an instructional booklet that is helpful and informative. So I'm going to show you how I do these illustrations really quickly. So I hope you'll be able to see this pretty well. If not, I will put in a screen recording from my laptop but I'm working in Adobe Illustrator and I have pulled in all of these photos that I took from the process of sewing this skirt. And then what I'm going to do is just outline these images to create the illustrations for the steps for the pattern. And then if I pop over here to the pattern guide, you can see some illustrations that I've already done before I actually sewed the tester. These were just from working with the pattern pieces. There's a lot of information here. I did not make this illustration. This came from a Pattern Workshop, which is where I have learned most of this information. I will link to that class in the description down below because it's very helpful if this is something you're wanting to start on. But I still need to add in all of my illustrations for the instructional section, so I am going to work on the first one now. So here with this first illustration, this one is very simple. All I'm trying to show is that the top of this pocket edge should be folded over to create a hem. And so I'm using a fill of the color white to illustrate the right side of the fabric. And then this gray is the wrong side of the fabric just so you can see the direction. And I put all of that in a key in the pattern guide. So this one is pretty simple and I might fine tune it later, but that is an illustration done. Now for this next illustration, I want to create a stitching line to show that this piece has been sewn across and I have these lines pretty thick right now just so you can see a little bit better. But what I'm going to do is go over here to where you can create a stroke and then just add the dashed line stroke and then suddenly it looks like little stitches and then I'm going to add this to my pattern piece. So now I have some basic illustrations done here for the pocket pieces. I will probably fine tune these a little bit more as I go, but I'm just going to start going through all of these different steps and getting my drawings done so that I can have the completed instruction booklet. 
but definitely making progress. All right, friends, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I really hope you have enjoyed seeing this little behind the scenes look into creating this sewing pattern. I am so excited to have it done, hopefully in the very near future to share with you all. And I just thought it would be fun to share a little look at the process since that's what I'm working on right now. But I really appreciate you spending your time here on my channel and watching it today. Thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. I really hope you guys will go check out some of their beautiful jewelry pieces I have on the silver hoops again. I am just really enjoying this silver style. So I hope you guys will check out their beautiful jewelry and love it as much as I do. Be sure to use my discount code, which will be on the screen and also linked down below if you want to get a little discount on a treat to yourself. But thank you again so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. And I will talk to you in a new video very, very soon. Bye.